2022 was a prolific year of transformation for Intel, the company creating world-changing technology to improve the life of every person on the planet. All around the world, from processors to supply chain, data centers to gaming systems, here's a look at the milestones reached by Intel, its customers and partners in 2022. 2022 was a year of product momentum. Intel launched the 13th gen Intel Core desktop processor family featuring the world's fastest processor. At the Intel Tech Tour in Israel, we gathered reporters and analysts from around the world for a sneak peek. We launched our line of Intel Arc mobile and desktop discrete graphics, including the new Intel Arc A770 that brought price and performance balance back to gamers. Intel's Habana Labs released its second generation deep learning processor, Habana Gaudi 2. Intel also started shipping the fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processors with several companies deploying the processor as part of their cloud services, including Google Cloud and Amazon Web Services. AWS is already using them in private preview for some customers. The Xeon roadmap of Emerald Rapids, Granite Rapids, and Sierra Forest are also progressing well. With much fanfare, Meteor Lake, Intel's first disaggregated client processor powered on, a great sign for the future of Intel 4 process technology. Google Cloud debuted the first ASIC infrastructure processing unit, the E2000, which was co-designed by Google and Intel. And on the software side, the Intel Developer Cloud will make new and future hardware platforms available for pre-launch development and testing. 2022 was also the year of manufacturing expansion. In January, the company announced to invest $20 billion in two new leading edge chip factories in Ohio. At the State of the Union, President Biden recognized Intel's commitment to manufacturing in the Silicon Heartland. Intel also announced plans for investments in manufacturing across the European Union, which includes a leading edge semiconductor factory mega site in Germany. In August, President Biden signed into law the Chips and Science Act, which CEO Pat Gelsinger said is a critical step to support the entire U.S. semiconductor industry. One, two, three, let's do <laughs> In September, we celebrated with a groundbreaking ceremony at the Ohio site with President Biden and Ohio Governor Mike DeWine in attendance. Intel drove strong execution against its IDM 2.0 strategy, announcing plans to acquire Tower Semiconductor, introducing a first-of-its-kind semiconductor co-investment program with Brookfield, implementing a new internal foundry model, and completing the Mobileye IPO. But none of this matters without Intel's deep connections to customers, partners, and developers. Welcome to Intel Vision 2022. During its flagship vision event in May, thousands learned how companies like Argonne National Laboratories, Bosch, Dell, Lenovo, and Nourish and Bloom are transforming through Intel technology. Company leaders later engaged with the global developer community at the second Intel Innovation in September. Gelsinger, along with Chief Technology Officer Greg Lavender, and guest Linus Torvalds, the godfather of open source, James Gosling, creator of Java, and AI luminary Andrew Ng demonstrated the power of an open ecosystem. Intel also applied tech for good against complex and interconnected global challenges. Intel pledged to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions in its global operations by 2040, was named Barron's number one most sustainable company worked with industry partners in the UK to create voice banking technology for people with motor neuron disease, also known as ALS, and created the world's first real-time deepfake detector that returns results in milliseconds with a 96% accuracy rate as part of its commitment to responsible AI. Plus, we celebrated Intel's global impact and scale with Intel Malaysia's 50th and Costa Rica's 25th anniversaries. Looking ahead to 2023, the people of Intel are focused on helping customers by creating the technology the world builds on and improving the way we live. <laughs> <laughs>